All right, so we are going up to the cottage for a road trip. We're gonna stay for a couple days and I'm gonna actually just start packing the car. What I've done so far is actually, let's open up the bottom here. So we got the trunk, then we got the bottom space here. We got, got the charger, got the extension cord for the charging. I'll actually plug in at the cottage when we get there. Got some dock stuff here in the gate, uh, some extra clothing there. Put that down. Love how much storage there is in here. Open up the next storage piece right here. I got my, my laptop, the drone, work on some videos possibly. Got a laptop stand, maybe we'll watch some videos here and there. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do some more packing, get some stuff in here from inside. Uh, and yeah, I'll show you guys what it looks like after I'm done packing. Got the car currently charging to 100%. It should be ready uh, by the time we leave. We're leaving at 12 o'clock and it should be ready. I believe it's at 95%, so it should be ready by the time we leave, which is awesome. Don't need to go to the gas station, just charge from home. Everything is pretty much packed. We got the essentials like alcohol, um, <laughs> and we got our pillows. I'm actually just taking the air cannon, the Ryobi air cannon as well, uh, and a little tiny fan. It's battery operated and electrical, so I can plug it in if need to. If it's really hot and humid and there's no breeze, it comes in handy, especially for your dogs too. Gives them a nice little breeze when they're just relaxing. Yeah, everything is in there. There's nothing in the second row. Elena and the pups will be in the passenger seat and we are ready to go. All right, the car is now charged and it's fully charged, it's not flowing anymore. Got the notification on my phone. Let's go ahead and unplug. Let's go to the car here and you'll see it is 100%, car is off. What I do wanna see, however, is, let's go to, full bright here so it doesn't do all that stuff let's go to distance distance go back to and it's right there 560 kilometers at 100 percent charge after one year so i've lost looks like seven kilometers not bad at all go back to energy because i do like the energy and we are ready to go a few hours later all right so we arrived about half an hour ago to the cottage I'm plugged in, we'll be here for a couple days, so it's gonna charge. Let's go ahead and get in the car here. So we actually arrived and we had 61% remaining. Let's actually change that to kilometers. Let's go to display distance. So 343 kilometers remaining. But like I said, we are now charging. It is a 120 volt. It's gonna take some time obviously because it's only gonna be doing five kilometers uh, of charge per hour. But like I said, we're here for a couple days and it'll just charge throughout the days. And yeah, we'll see what it is when we leave in a couple days. All right guys, so just a quick update. It is now Wednesday afternoon. The car looks like, it's actually looks like it's stopped charging. And I'll tell you why in a second here. Let's go ahead and get into the car. So yesterday I actually noticed that it was already at 85% and now it is at 90. It's at 90% charging is complete because what I ended up doing was, let's go over to charging. I noticed that it was actually gonna finish charging to 100% before we were leaving yesterday. And so I brought it down to 90. However, it was such a nice day yesterday that we decided to stay a couple more days. So we'll probably leave uh, Thursday night-ish and at that point, probably tomorrow at some point, I'll take it up to 100 and then it'll be 100 by the time we're ready to go. Okay, so it is now Thursday evening. I think it's about six o'clock or so. Let's check to see how long is there left to charge. So we are at 97%. It's still charging. I do have to be honest, I kind of forgot <laughs> to actually put it on um, earlier today or start charging early today to 100%. So it says it's got another four hours. Obviously it's, it's a very low charge because I'm just charging right from cottage. Again, we've been here since Sunday and we've done about three or four trips down the road to a store to get some ice cream, got some food one night. And uh, yeah, the lowest I've gone to is probably 85% because we're always charging and 
don't have to go anywhere to get gas. So that's actually a huge positive. So we're about to leave. It is, what time is it now? It is 6.46. So we'll probably leave around 7, 7.30. But uh, yeah, super happy. Once again, we'll be in good shape for the drive home. No issues. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. Last time we made this trip, we got a flat tire. Let's see what happens today. So I just talked to Lane. And because we'll be driving home with the sun in our faces most of the, most of the way, I actually asked her if she wanted me to use the shade. You get the shade when you buy the car. It's for the front windshield. I have yet to use it. Well, I'm going to put it on and see what it does and if it makes any sort of difference. It's almost like a perforated shade or sun, sun shade, but it goes on from the back of the windshield all the way to the rear view mirror. And everything is actually magnetic. It's actually kind of cool. Fits on nicely. Can't even tell that's really there. Uh, however, obviously sitting in the driver's seat, super used to the massive windshield that goes all the way up. Definitely different that now the sunshade is there. Eh, I guess we'll see what happens on the way home. A few hours later. So I installed the shade. How was the shade? Well, to be honest, uh, we didn't need it. <laughs> so. Basically, by the time we got on the highway and started driving westbound towards Toronto, the sun was actually low enough where the trees were actually blocking it. So we actually didn't end up needing the sun visor, but it is super easy to install. It is super weird considering that you get used to with the massive windshield, but no issues driving home or anything like that. And I'll just take it off and put it back in the trunk and maybe use it another day. It is 11, 12 p.m. and we're home. So that's good. Uh, we got the battery here at 57 percent remaining the car is off obviously because i just parked it i actually left with the battery at 97 didn't end up waiting or anything like that and uh yeah it was a good trip home no issues or anything like that on the way home got all the stuff still in the back just wanted to get the final part here done uh, just everything's still in the back here so quickly thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for future videos with the Model X. Road trip done. We're home. Time to unpack. Until the next one, guys.